Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at Apple TV Plus. So don't go anywhere. Okay everyone, so let's go ahead and launch the Apple TV app. Mm -hmm. Now the Apple TV Plus is actually just a subscription that sits on top of the Apple TV service. At the time of this recording, it's $5 a month or $50 a year. Now the first time you launch the Apple TV app, it's just going to launch without any account associated with it. You will need to go into the settings and associate your account with it, which I've already done. So since we're in the settings, let's go ahead and take a look here and see what options we have. We can add an account, we can manage subscriptions, and we can sign out. Under general, we have about, which gives us the information on the app. We can change the language. We can enable restrictions. This is going to put a passcode on the device. We can restrict purchases and rentals. We can also restrict movies and TV shows based on rating. We have accessibility options, subtitles and captioning, audio descriptions, we can bold text, we can increase the contrast and we can reduce motion. We can limit purchases and rentals to standard definition. This could be useful if you have a slow connection or if you have limited data. We can reset Apple TV. This will reset it to the original settings and remove all personal information. We have a help area. And that basically just tells us to go to support.apple.com slash TV slash Roku. We're using a Roku device. We can choose to use play history. So keep track of all the titles that we play. We can clear the play history. We can show sports scores. We can enable or disable location. We can share Apple TV analytics. We can look at the analytics data. We can see how our data is managed. And we can look at legal information. There's a lot of different settings in there, so that's kind of impressive. Most of these Roku apps don't have a whole lot you can do in the settings area. So let's take a look at the search capability. I normally search for house, so I'm going to go ahead and search for that. And I do get quite a bit of content here. I get House Hunters, I get House MD, House Hunters International, and I get House of Lies, which is a Showtime title. So let's see what happens when I go into one of these. So this is a Showtime program, and I can try Showtime for free. It's seven days for free, and it's $10.99 a month after that. I can buy this title for $2.99, and I can add it to Up Next, which basically adds it to, a, to my Up Next queue. Just, so let's go into another title. Again, we have to purchase this. But let's just go and look and see what we can do in here. It's got a ton of seasons here. 66 is the season we're brought up on. And we can look at all the different episodes. We can look at titles that are related to what we're looking at, which is nice. We can look at the cast and crew. For example, Suzanne Wang, if we go on her page, we can look and see what she's in things that are associated with her. So let's go back. And then we can go down and we can see how to watch. So in this case, we can buy seasons from $12.99. And then we have about, which will give us the complete information on the title. So let's go over to the library. This is going to be where everything that you've purchased TV shows or movies, that's going to be where that, that shows up. We have a kids area. So it looks like Apple has a lot of content here. Again, we have TV shows, and we can look through channels. 
Now here we can go to Apple TV Plus, and this should show us everything that is included in our Plus subscription. So we have a little bit of content here. We have Oprah's Book Club. But we don't have a ton of content, at least not yet. Movies, we can go into a movie. We'll look at the Joker. And here we can see the information on the title. We can see the Rotten Tomatoes score, the Common Sense rating. Looks like it's 16. We can look at the trailer for the movie. We can look at related titles. We can look at the cast and crew. This will tell us how to watch it. We can either buy it or we can rent it. And then, of course, we have the information on the Common Sense rating and the Rotten Tomatoes score, as well as the full information about the title. So let's go ahead and try to watch a title, see what we come up with. This is one that I already brought up, so I'm just going to bring it up again, and it's going to go right back to where I left off. So I'm going to go back here. So the service itself works pretty well. It's what I would expect from Apple. But, uh, but the Apple Plus just doesn't have a whole lot of content yet. It may in the future, but it doesn't now. Folks, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps other YouTubers find quality content, and we really appreciate it. Click the subscribe button, and then click the bell to get notified whenever new content is added. As always, comments, questions, and suggestions are welcome below, and we thank you very much for watching.